Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 1. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here from High Tech Investment and welcome back to the first week of 2023 where we're going to have a close look at what is happening and what has happened in the last week. We definitely hope that 2023 is going to be even better than 2022 that had quite a few hiccups, especially on some of the platforms, some changed, some basically stopped and we're going to have a close look at everything as usual in the news report and there's good news coming out of yield notes. We also have some uh, good progression. So when it comes to the trillion platform and of course, plenty of news on the solar farm, which continues to go up, up and up. And also the uh, robots, the EAs, we make new videos here and uh, you'll be quite astonished. We definitely were on how well we have done in the first nine months of trading the profit retriever. So let's get started. And for this time around, we are still going to start with yield notes. And we actually have some positive news on that part because the quarterly profit of the 5% that was promised has actually come in. Uh, we saw that. So just in the first days of 2023, there is, however, uh, one little thing that you have to be aware of because we had some money stuck that we wanted to withdraw from yield notes. And uh, we know also from uh, a couple of the other people that has signed up together with us that there are some affiliate commissions that has also been stuck for several months in there. And most of these has actually only been credited at the end of December. And that means that these amounts has not received the 5%. Now we've gone back to Steve already and asked about it. We actually highlighted this several months ago and he said that that was under control, but clearly it is not. So if you are a Yield Notes member, go in and have a look and make sure that it is uh, calculated correctly. So we definitely hope that this is going to be uh, resolved very soon, but we haven't really heard anything back from Steve. He seems to be very slow to reply to us at the moment. So, but. Uh, Hopefully, fingers crossed, we will have something for the next news report. If we have a close a look at also the uh, the sales still that you can do within the uh, yield notes part and the yield notes platform, uh, we are still currently at 40%. So from the 26th of December until the 8th of January, it is still 40%. You can go and sell that as a discount. And starting from the 9th, basically from uh, Monday after the weekend here, you will go to 50%. Now you will still see that there's a few things on the platform itself that is at 30%. And those are the ones that were actually put in uh, during the last time frame, where you could do the 30% and they will obviously stay even though the rest, the new ones will have to be uh, engaged at 40%. So that's how it works. And that's why you will still see that there's a lot of discounts on 30% despite that we are now are in uh, changing into uh, 40 and very soon uh, 50% also. Um, but it's uh, unfortunate that uh, so many are still uh, trying to sell it off. But uh, obviously, if you need the money, if you have lost the trust in yield notes, um, yeah, there, there's no other way, I guess, in to try and get at least some of it back. We do still have confidence in, in them. And we hope that we will hear a lot more positive news uh, going forward. And that's also why, again, we have uh, mentioned this video here quite a few times now that if you are willing to sell or if you are interested in actually buying at a heavily discounted price, then this is the video tutorial to go in and have a look and see exactly how you can uh, buy it. Or if you really want to sell some of these things off in order to go into other investments or simply just support the family, then this is also the video for you. It works both ways, so uh, feel free to uh, have a look at it. Now, when it comes to uh, the Cenami coins, it is still a bit of a nightmare. So that has not really changed despite the uh, slow down over the uh, Christmas holidays and New Year's here. We can still see that it's only going one way and that is still down. But let's have a look at the SAP and Sapphire coin. We can see the return on the investment on the iHost MN uh, website here. It's pretty much stable, still around the 60% mark. And that also means that we are getting roughly about 2.5% per week at the moment. So out of the shared master noting, 
but the overall coin development uh, has hit a new all-time low again for the SAP and that pretty much looks like this. Uh, it is uh, flattening out slowly but surely but still small declines all the time since there's no real news to uh, pump up the price again. If we go to PNY, it's pretty much the same picture again here. We are within 1% of last year's return on the investment, so 61, uh, 62% compared to 61.5% last week. Uh, definitely still uh, stable enough, and the shared master noting has also gone up by almost 10%, which is what we are used to. But overall, coin development has pretty much stayed status quo. We're not at a new all-time low, but we're about... 0.4, 0.5% uh, only away from that, so still in minus 25, uh, 95%, which is definitely way too much. PNY looks like this, it looks pretty flat, so very little movement at the moment, and we definitely look forward to seeing uh, it back up with some of the peaks here. Also, Bayrek, which has been one of the most stable ones, especially in the beginning when uh, everything started to crumble a bit for yield notes and decenemy. We can see the return on the investment on the iHost uh, MN website here. Again, fairly stable, so not much of a difference, 130% uh, or so. And that also means that still about 5% on each week is what we get from the shared master noting, still going forward uh, slowly but surely. But again, this week overall coin development has also hit a new all-time low, so we are now down in minus 23.8%, so not really something to write home about either. And the graph looks like this. It looked like it had a bit of a retracement, so just before Christmas. Since then, it has slowly but surely uh, shrunk and continued to do so at the moment. And uh, we still don't know where the bottom is on all this. I guess it depends on how quickly uh, Yield Notes, Yield Notes Pro is going to be active and it can show uh, all the members and all the investors here uh, what they're up to so we can have some good positive vibes now if we have a look at bitcoin that has also been fairly stable over the holidays here and we didn't expect anything else from that it has been around the 16,500 mark and uh, it's been going quite well and sideways all the way through uh, new years since then it has now slowly but surely climbed up and almost reached uh, 17,000 again for this particular week. So we are starting to see movements in all the markets once more. No movements on Elevate Pass. Profits for week one is continues to be zero, and we obviously knew that. Uh, we did have a chat with the uh, CEO, Raphael, here again, and that was just before Christmas. Still, if you are in with Elevate Pass, this is definitely the video to go and watch where we're going to have a little talk about what exactly happened in the past, how far they've gotten, and also they have some new information that hopefully will be released here in January. We definitely hope to hear more from Raphael this month uh, with another interview of what exactly is going to happen, what can we expect, uh, how is the recovery process going. So we're very much looking forward to this. And again, he also emphasized here that all the different things apart from the trading is still running. You can still make money off that. And also CoinFriend Portal is something he's going to try and expand on in the future. We'll see exactly how that's going to work. Now moving on to Trillion. And uh, since now it's the 1st of January, that also means that there are some changes within the Trillion platform itself. When it got launched, so back in 2023, and we finally got the three tokens, so released, go on the exchanges here. The maximum you could take out was $2,500. Now it's up to 5000 and it will be so until the end of January. From there on in February, it will then be $10,000, and after that it will be unlimited, and that should also be the same time that the Trill, the uh, Trill stablecoin will be released, which we are at the moment more interested in because the Tree token is continuing to be in a bit of a decline still. And we're going to have a closer look at that in just a moment. Now, if you want to take uh, the money out again, so from the platform itself and you want to take it over to uh, XT or CoinStore to exchange it, then definitely this is tutorial video for you that uh, shows every single step, including also how you can again take it out from the exchanges and into your wallet. 
which we definitely uh, still recommend every single time that you don't keep a, a lot of money on the exchanges itself. Just go in, exchange it, and then put it back in your hopefully uh, cold wallet or hard wallet, which is the most safe place normally. Again, at the moment on the Trillion platform, we see five cents if you want to buy it in here, which makes little sense compared to what it is on the exchanges at the moment. But that is still the option. That also means that you have no options right now to stake at a higher price. So the last one we got a chance of was actually 13 cents. Uh, remember, it was launched at 10 cents. Then on the platform, it went up to 13. And since then, it's now down been uh, downgraded again into uh, five. So it will be uh, some time, I think, before we can actually stake it at a higher price again. Uh, also remind you that the December uh, raffle here is now over, but there are still raffles also uh, for the Trillion platform uh, going on in January and in February. And still you can find more about it on the uh, information site here. So www.trillion.com slash raffle. And uh, that will mean again here you have two options actually to enter this. One is you have to, first of all, um, get in on the exchange and buy, not from the Trillion platform, the money you have in there, but new money basically, minimum of 500. You have to stake it for 52 weeks uh, and that will give you uh, one of the lottery tickets. The other way you can then uh, also add to that is you can go out on Twitter, Facebook uh, or Instagram and also post a picture of the uh, site itself and tell them about the raffle. You put that into the uh, platform on the Trillion platform here and you get a second lottery ticket. Now it's important that when you stake it, you obviously have to do it for 52 weeks. That is where it is locked in. You also get a higher yield of 50%. The rest of 4, 9 and 26 is still short term, but you won't be able to stake it at a higher yield price later on. So it all depends on uh, if you are short or long term invested with the Trillion platform itself. Having a look at xt.com here, we can see that it's currently down at uh, 0 0.00561. So definitely not even one cent at the moment, which is not very good. We have seen the drop that came, so right around uh, New Year's. And since then, we have seen some uh, well high volatility. But unfortunately, on the sales side, we can see that uh, it's up to 6 million at uh, this is uh, on an hourly chart. So there's a couple of times where you can see the positives only reach about uh, 2 million and the negatives are all the way up to about 6. So it has gone flat again now here and it will be interesting to see how this is going to develop through the year and especially also hopefully when we see the stablecoin come in, uh, this will be less of a factor. Looking at CoinStore, pretty much the same picture here, so just uh, a bit less volume. Again, prices has dropped, of course, uh, similar, so they are pretty much lined up now compared to what they were in the beginning. But we are currently at 0 0.00535, so small difference in here. And the highest volume that we saw, again, was the sale part. And uh, this was only one peak, but still 4 million and obviously going in the wrong direction. What doesn't seem to be going in the wrong direction here is the solar farm and we just had a shooting star and that was just uh, before the end of the year and that was at 50% where we got a panel bonus. Now that always spikes everything up and then afterwards uh, people are trying to sell off again. But we have seen uh, quite a good development overall from the developers of solar farm here. And they have also just released an article. I'll make sure that the link will be in the video description below. It is quite a, a long one and it goes all the way back from when Solar Farm 1 was set up, talking about version 2 and basically the new things that are coming into the platform. It looks quite exciting, but the most important thing here is actually that we want to see things happening, not just talk about it. And I think also that's why we have seen a bit of the TVL uh, again drop and we'll have a look at the exact numbers on this. We do hope that we can um, get an interview maybe with uh, some of the developers here in the near future. Uh, we just simply have been uh, too busy on the holidays and uh, trying and uh, spend a bit of family time. Solar Farm 2, as you can see here, the TVL has uh, 
been going up, up and up for the last many weeks. But because of the latest things that has happened, um, the TVL has dropped uh, quite dramatically again, uh, 41%. But overall here, we can actually see our pounds owned uh, is also up by 194%. So really, really good development. And what really counts is our panel value. Our panel value has still gone from 204 so to 389 so massive improvement of 91%. And uh, you have to look back at this and see that we started off with only a handful of PNB, and that has now turned into uh, almost 400. Exchange rate also at uh, minus 54%, which is uh, quite high compared to the previous weeks. And just to tell you here that uh, the volatility, we took a picture of it when the uh, panel value we had was at 415. It was even up at 600 at one point here because of the special events they had. Uh, and that simply just shows that, uh, that there is still uh, room for movement, both up and down. So uh, it, it can definitely give you a, a heart attack when you see things dropping as fast as they do. And then all of a sudden they pop back up and uh, you just made a 50 BNB. And if we have a look, you can also see the total compounds that we actually have done is 1,523. Current compounds is up to 1,122. We don't compound as often as we used to do. We basically wanted to get to, to the magic number, so to get the extra 30%, and that's what we've done. We haven't sold anything off in the last six months, um, and we've been doing quite well no matter what. Uh, maybe it's time to sell anytime soon. Um, we will uh, consider this soon. Now, if we have a look at the BNB versus USD, so you can see the price value that has actually come into this platform. Again, we can see over the holidays, pretty flat, about 240, 245. And then uh, we came into the new year, we start to see more movement, more volume. And then on the 4th here of January, it started to spike again, ended up at $260 and currently uh, dropped slightly down again to 257. So good positive development. Let's hope it's gonna continue like this. Solo Farm 1 is also positive this week. Uh, it was slightly more positive uh, one or two days ago, but still we take what we have here. TVL is up by 2%, so slightly up, which is great to see. Panel zoned is 164%, which is pretty much where we are normally week on week. And then panel value and daily rewards are also up, but only by 1%. We had a few more percent a few days ago, but again, pretty much status quo, but we like the green numbers a lot better than the red ones. AI marketing, unfortunately, uh, this is 2023 and we never got the Christmas present that we hoped that AI marketing was going to deliver to all of us hopefuls here. Um, still no news, still no um, advice on profits itself. We keep our fingers crossed for something will come out. As I said, everything that we have shared with you so far is still only rumors. And uh, obviously we will let you know if something positive or negative happens in 2023. Definitely a lot of positive things has come out of 2022. And one of the things is definitely the Profit Retriever, the expert Forex robot that we are simply loving. And uh, we are putting more and more efforts into this every single day. First of all, because we can handle our money ourselves. We don't have to put it over to a platform. We don't have to run it through all sorts of different systems to exchange. Simply, we put our fiat money in together with the brokers, and then we decide how we want to trade. And this exactly is a nine month review. So don't forget that even though you might have heard about the profit retriever now for quite a long time, it was beta tested back in March 2022. We went straight on it and started trading it with a lot of different currency pairs, uh, metals and uh, also indexes. They have done quite well. And this video is a review. So both of the profit retriever itself and also the copy link trading. So since we started, we have now made more than $130,000 in the demo accounts that we have set up, which is now also working together with the um, copy link trading of expert 4x and these are the ones that we currently have in there we are in the process of taking a few of them off that we don't believe is is making enough money and at the same time we have other ones working in the background that has been doing really really well we even added some 
uh, with a bit more aggression uh, into them that most probably will do somewhere around uh, 40 to 70 percent and then it's up to the individual uh, traders if they want to link to these higher risk than uh, what we normally send out now on top of this we of course also have to finish off the year with the week 42 so for the top five eas us 30 has really really done well and again it ended up on the top with 3.5 percent for the week even though that trading is very low and obviously also um, the results is extremely low compared to all the other months british pounds usd also did quite well always a volatile uh, currency here 2.8 aussie usd 2.7 new zealand usd 2.5 and then euro japanese came in also at a steady one percent overall one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars or one point three percent which is definitely not bad for a month where basically everybody's gone on holiday or sorry week um, profit fever for the month of december again these are very good indicators um, we did have a few communications on uh, multiple people on the latest video we had here and saying they don't really know what they're supposed to use these posts for and uh, i was quite shocked and surprised that they uh, that they wouldn't know because these are obviously uh, a big wink and a hint hint that these uh, currencies or indexes is doing extremely well at the moment and the first thing you should do is you should basically go to our website and have a look on the fx blue to see okay is this really true and from there on you head uh, either to your own robots and start testing on the us 30 index or you start uh, doing it on the silver or gold aussie usd and then if you are not that kind of type that you want to trade yourself you head over to the copy link trading or expert forex and you find our links there very very simple so this is uh, a, a supposed to be a great help for everybody on which ones they should focus on which ones are doing extremely well at the moment and we can see that overall for these five here we did even though this is very low for for the overall month eleven thousand one hundred and eighty five dollars or twenty two point four percent and uh, that's why also we made the video and we actually took uh, an excel and just highlighted the last uh, eight weeks of trading for the individual ones and you can see how well they have done and this is actually an indicator this is not uh, look how much money we made because these are all demo accounts that are running and based on these you can then set up your individual live accounts with real money you only take the best ones out of there that you feel comfortable with and you can see the us 30 which is on top here in the last uh, eight weeks it has made more than six thousand dollars or 61 percent massive amounts british pounds usd is at 35 percent and also usd 32 and so on and so on and you can also see the currencies that you should keep away from at the moment you can see that some of the ones uh, there's not many but british pounds japanese is only doing about uh, 4.92 percent so you might want to close off the deals the next time it is possible for the robot and then switch it to some of the better ones that is basically what you should use our post for so to make sure that you are always on the best eas uh, that are producing the best results at any given time so maximize your results and that's also why you can see on the uh, yellow uh, top 10 corner here you can see that if you would have uh, invested in in those robots you would have made more than $28,000 over the last two months or 28% compared to if you would trade all of them, you would have made, yes, a bit more, 32, but only 20% overall. So the idea here is to have as many demo accounts running as always, and then simply pick off uh, the best cherries here so um, and put them on live accounts. And that's also exactly the list that you have here. This is from Expert Forex, and you can see that some of our results is not even in the top 10. I think we start at number 12 or 13 at the moment. The list changes and also Alex has a slightly different setup than what we have because he calculates months, we calculate weeks and so on and so on, depending on how it goes. And there can be a big difference uh, depending on which day you start on the trading. So that can sometimes even give more than 5% uh, per week. But you have a look at our signals and you can obviously copy uh, all of these 
or you can go for some of the even uh, higher risk ones. It is entirely up to you. At the moment, there's about uh, 40 links in total, and uh, we suggest uh, create a portfolio of somewhere between at least five to 10 uh, accounts, even more if you can afford it. And if you don't have that much money, then sense accounts is definitely the way to go. And all about this is always on our website here again, both on the profit retriever trading and the copy link trading. You will find all the links in there, including also videos from Alex and expert Forex, um, where we add anything new that uh, is beneficial to you. So for the profit retriever, so we try to feature all these out. Now, this is a bit too late, unfortunately now for everybody, but we did post on this particular one. You could get a heavy discount again from Expert Forex of somewhere between 80 to 90%. So hopefully you saw it, uh, but it was a short video basically telling everybody that this was a chance to go and buy. And uh, we heard from Alex that there's definitely a lot of people that have bought the Profit Retriever and we hope they do quite well with it. Another video from Alex here was a lesson from an experienced uh, millionaire year trader. Uh, I do believe he has sent out a video similar to this uh, a while back, one or two years ago. And obviously, if you are interested in this uh, and to understand part of the trading, a bit more hands on trading than just ordinary robots here for that particular video, then that is one to go by. The last one here is a video that was just released uh, yesterday before we shot here the video. And that is again, 25 critical trading trips for the profit retriever. Basically, uh, we can see that a lot of people are asking a lot of questions, same questions to Alex as uh, I also get here. And he goes through some of the different steps and the settings. And we have added that video also on our website because we think that is quite interesting for the uh, individual traders that wants to trade the profit retriever. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. As you can see, uh, 2023 is off to a good start. We definitely hope that we're going to get out of the crypto winter into the spring and hopefully even high summer. Um, time will tell, but we will keep you as always updated on everything that goes on with all our investments and all the things we are involved in. So you can make your own decision if you want to join any of this or you just want to sit back and have a good laugh. So I hope to see you uh, next week and the weeks after in this news report. Thank you very much for watching and uh, much more to come in 2023. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.